What's up, Takedown Tribe, and welcome to this week's Takedown Tuesday Challenge. And we have a really fun one planned today because neither one of us know what half of the items on this table are. Yeah, it's actually pretty terrifying not knowing what half of what you're about to eat is. I immediately regret this decision. Basically what we did was each of us got five different sections of the grocery store that we could choose one item from without the other knowing what we chose. For instance, I got the bakery department and he has no idea what I chose from the bakery department. And not only do I have no idea what he chose, we also don't know the exact calories or weight of this challenge because we thought it would be a funny idea to just give ourselves the general rule of pick what you think half of a food challenge would look like. So I have a feeling that this is going to get wild. Yeah, and based off of what I got, I think things are gonna get pretty brutal today. But that said, maybe we should dive into section number one. All right, let's do it. So we did determine beforehand that we would start with the freezer department, which was Pete's. So what do you got in store for us? All right. Ooh, Ben and Jerry's. Sick. Whiskey Biz. Think that's one of the new ones? Yeah. Sick. We've been wanting to try this one for a little while. Gonna need that. All right, let's take it down. See how it is? Oh dang! Holy cow! And we're in! Yeah, and honestly, I was stoked with your first choice because it's been so long since we've had ice cream and this one was amazing. And like you guys saw, this is the new Topped Whiskey Biz Ben & Jerry's, which is a brown butter bourbon ice cream with blonde brownies and whiskey caramel swirls topped with white chocolatey ganache and white fudge chunks. It literally could not get better than that. And I was thinking about going with this really good looking deep dish frozen pizza, but then I realized I would have had to heat it up. He would have smelt it while it was heating up. And then I had no idea how I would get it into the back. So instead I went with Ben & Jerry's. Dude. Honestly, that might be one of my favorite pints of Ben & Jerry's now. That was amazing. Great choice. Thank you. Wow. That was so good. Mm -hmm. But I guess I'm in for the next surprise. Do you have anything savory? I actually do have something savory. It's kind of on the smaller side because I went really big in certain sections, but I do have... Uh, let, me, let me surprise you. All right. <laughs> for savory, I have... Oh, yes. Cream cheese and onion, uh, what is it called? Cream cheese. Chive and onion cream cheese. And I also got the bread <laughs> aisle, and for some reason was really feeling Hawaiian rolls. And so I guess we're gonna find out how Hawaiian rolls are with cream, what is it, cream cheese. Wow, wow. that sounds awesome to me. All right, let's find out. I'm thinking that we put the whole thing of cream cheese on the four Hawaiian rolls. Okay. <laughs> it's been so long since I've had a Hawaiian roll, right? Mmm. <laughs> Good choice. That is awesome. I love that. Chive and onion cream cheese. Now this is actually the first time we've had cream cheese since our cream cheese challenge. And this is our favorite savory flavor. Man, putting an entire container of cream cheese on a four pack of sweet Hawaiian rolls is not something I ever thought I would do in my life, but let me tell you, it works and it is awesome. Yeah, I went through the bread aisle before I went to the dairy department, and once I decided I wanted cream cheese, I said, I'm not going back to the bread aisle, we're just gonna have to wing it and find out if the combination works. Excellent choice. I didn't even know that I was in the mood for cream cheese and bread but I could have eaten that all night long. Yeah, to be honest, cream cheese and Hawaiian rolls needs to be a huge thing, because that was amazing. Mm -hmm. Wow. But you're up next, and I'm not gonna give you any guidelines, just surprise me. Okay, I think we're gonna do the refrigerator section, 
because I have one other item that I would like to do before it gets too soft. Okay. And you are not prepared for what I'm about to, what I am about to have us do. Alright. <clears throat> what could it be? That cookie dough? Yes! Sick! <laughs> Chocolate chip cookie dough. How do we want it? How do we eat it? What I'm thinking is we eat it just like a meat stick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a cookie dough log eaten like a salami. <laughs> we might need scissors to open these, so. Sick, good idea. I brought, I came very prepared today. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, this is amazing. That's a dream come true. Mm -hmm. Dude, what an amazing choice. I didn't see this one coming from a mile away. Let me tell you, this has been my fat kid dream for way too long. So when my eyes hit that cookie dough log, I said, it's time. So stoked you had us eat this thing like a burrito and didn't bring like a knife and fork to the game. Eating it like this was ultimate. Oh yeah, these things are a pound each and 16 cookies worth of cookie dough. I'm so happy that I get to check this off my bucket list. By the way, we know that we really didn't give you guys much to look at as far as a table setup goes, but revealing the items throughout the challenge the way that we did made for such a fun experience for us. Yeah, I'm probably gonna remember this one for a long time because it's probably gonna be a while before we don't know what we're eating again. Dude, that was epic. If eating a log of chocolate chip cookie dough like a burrito isn't on your bucket list, it needs to be. That was such an incredible experience. Thank you for that. But I'm up next, and I got both the bakery and the candy aisles. Which one do you want to go for? Mm. Well, also, we may be <laughs> the only people to have ever done that. I've never seen it done. That was amazing. Exceptional. But see, we just ate a lot of unbaked cookies. I am very curious as how you possibly could have narrowed down the bakery aisle to one thing. Oh, man. So let's go with that. I said I, said I went big in some areas. And that went pretty big with the bakery. Let's see what I got. Ooh. Oh, dang. Variety cake. Nice. You got two of them? Yeah, I got two of them. <laughs> oh, we my both got our own. God. Yeah, it's a variety mousse tort. So there's four different types of mousse cakes on it. It's a French style cheesecake, a chocolate, a caramel, and a cookies and cream mousse. Dude, this is so intense. Yeah, it is. Wow. Which one are we starting with? Um, I think we should start with, maybe let's do cookies and cream. All right. <laughs> which one's which? The cookies and cream is this one right here. Oh, this thing's sick. We're just gonna eat it as is? Yeah, eat it with your hands. If that doesn't work, we've got these spoons. Good. Mmm. I still cannot believe that you did this to us, but this thing was killer. Yeah, well, baked goods are our favorite, and so I figured, why not go big and bad in the bakery department? Now, I felt like narrowing down the bakery department was an impossible task, so I had to be really decisive when I was in there, and I am not good at being decisive, but I do feel like I made the right choice, just in an excessive quantity. This is excessive. <clears throat> do you wanna do the cheesecake one next? Do that one? Yep, that's the cheesecake. Oh, yeah. That was good. Mm -hmm. This French style cheesecake mousse was the one. 
I don't know if they make an entire cake of just this flavor, but if they did, I would get it again in a heartbeat. Yeah, I don't know if they sell it as an entire cake, but I do know they just sell the French style mousse on its own in a tub, so we might have to get that into a food challenge. These mousse cakes were perfect for people like us because usually we like a little bit of cake and a lot of frosting. So if we're talking ratios, they do this thing right over there because it's equal parts mousse and cake. I'm so dirty. Mm -hmm. That one was amazing though. <clears throat> do you want to do the caramel or chocolate? <clears throat> Thinking let's get the chocolate out of the way. Works for me. <clears throat> Plain Jane. Yeah, just chocolate on chocolate. Definitely nothing to complain about. It was very good. But I think we may have mentioned in another video that we tend to favor vanilla over chocolate. Now the best mousse cake that I've ever had was definitely that Oreo mousse cake that we had in our 16 pound cake rematch challenge back in January. If you haven't seen that challenge, definitely go check it out because that one was crazy and you need to see that Oreo mousse cake for yourself. Only one more. <clears throat> I feel like we've been eating this thing forever. I know. Mmm. <laughs> that was good. Now, if we're ranking these things, this caramel one was absolutely a close second to that French style cheesecake. Yeah, for some reason, I wasn't expecting anything of this caramel one, but it totally exceeded my expectations. 10 out of 10. We actually haven't done all that many caramel things on the channel. Maybe we should do like a massive caramel challenge. Ooh, I would be all about that. Jump down in the comments and just type the word caramel if you want to see an entire caramel theme takedown. We probably could have just split one. Wow. Yeah. <coughs> you were not kidding when you say that you went big. That was a lot. And I'm definitely starting to fill up, mm -hmm. but despite the fact that that was a lot and I am now very messy, that thing was awesome. Mm -hmm. Especially the cheesecake one and the caramel one. That I was think the one. Those two were my favorite, especially the cheesecake one. But I did get the chip aisle, and I feel like after all of that cake, those are going to come in handy. Yeah, I can go that? for some chips. Yeah, cool. What brand of chips do you think that I would get? Uh... Well, we did Pringles. We did that massive Pringles challenge, so I have a good feeling you didn't get Pringles. No. I would guess Dorito. I knew that that's what you think I would get, mm. which is exactly why I did not get those. Uh, okay, take a bowl. Thank you. I got one of our favorite chips from when we were kids. Ooh. Hold on, hold on, let me guess, knowing that, knowing that. I'm not gonna look. Kids, sun chips. Mm. Yeah! Wow. I love sun chips. <laughs> Good guess. These were the best. Yeah. Nothing like chips after some cake. But by the way, we know that by revealing the food items throughout the challenge the way that we did, definitely made for a longer video and longer sections in between eating. But again, we had a lot of fun doing it this way. And also, I knew that you were gonna think that I would choose Doritos. <laughs> but when my eyes hit the sun chips, they stood out to me and I thought those are definitely a close second for me. Well, I was happy you got them because I love French onion sun chips. But I was actually surprised you went with that flavor because I would have thought you would have gotten the garden salsa ones because we always get the French onion flavor. And so I figured that you would get the garden salsa because we haven't had them before. Yeah, I've been wanting to try that, but for some reason I wanted to go with the classic and I'm happy that I did, loved them.
Well, those pretty much look exactly the same as they did the first time I showed you guys them. But I think it's just when we're eating something for a really long time, I can't help but feel like the footage is gonna be so incredibly boring that I just wanna give you guys something to look at. Yeah, chips definitely are not the fastest eating food item for a food challenge. And by the way, in these food challenges, they are in fact extremely challenging. So the more that we can streamline the process, the better. But at the same time, showing you the food up close makes us feel like it's a bit more inclusive of an experience. And we also know that quite a few of you have reached out saying that you really like seeing the food. So even if it looks exactly the same, it's kind of worth doing. I feel like everything we chose takes so long to eat. Oh no. Oh man. Do we need these for anything else? Nope. Alright. Okay. Ah, nicely chosen though. So nostalgic. It's been too long since we've had sun chips. Mm -hmm. Still one of my favorite chips of all time. We were like six departments or aisles deep right now, right? Six or seven. One of the two. I don't quite remember, but I know I'm next. And the only two things I have left is the candy aisle and the cookie aisle. Which one do you want to do? Oh man. Neither sounds ideal, especially, especially after our uh, massive Easter candy challenge last week. I don't want to eat candy, but at the same time, I kind of went a little bit too big with the cookies again. Oh no. <laughs> um, like you said, after the Easter candy challenge, I'm not jonesing to get to candy. Maybe let's do the cookies. Okay, so here's the thing about the cookies. <laughs> I kind of didn't think things through again <laughs> and bought two packages of the cookies that I chose. Oh my God. And I was walking by, there was a clearance rack and I decided, oh, maybe I just wanted to do a little bonus item <laughs> and grab some cookies off of the almost expired clearance rack. So I kind of doubled down on the whole cookie thing. No. I'm really shooting us in the foot here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I really wasn't thinking things through. I think I felt like I was shopping for the entire challenge myself, I guess. Oh my God. But uh, here's what I chose for cookies. But in, in our defense, it was weird only buying half of the challenge. Yeah. Because we're used to gauging everything together. Mm -hmm. So I do know what you meant by a couple times I caught myself and I'm like, this. I'm not doing the whole challenge. I didn't catch myself. <laughs> All right, what do you got? Do you want the clearance ones or the actual uh, like snack cookies first? Let's do the snack cookies. All right, here we go. <sighs> one for you <laughs> and one for me. I was expecting Chips Ahoy. Yeah? Yeah, or like, like the smaller container of cookies. But like you went nostalgic childhood with the sun chips, I went nostalgic childhood and went with EL Fudge oh, Elf Witch. They're the double stuff. But these are double stuffed. We've never had the double stuff. We only grew up on the regular ones. Wow. Okay, that changes things. I'm a little excited. Let's take them down because I'm getting full. All right. <sighs> oh, Sorry, man. I'm excited to try them. Yeah, same. Yeah, those don't open up. Here we go. Mm -hmm. The Elf Witch. Now these were definitely the most nostalgic of my choices, and I went nostalgic in a few areas, but we had never tried the double stuffed ones before, and those were definitely better than the original. Yeah, I loved them. And we both ended up going nostalgic in a few areas, but this was definitely a continuation of Nate over purchasing and the point in which I was getting worried with not knowing how much further we had to go. So at this point, we've obviously done out the calories and you guys are seeing them rack up, but we had no idea where we were at at this point in the challenge. So the next day when we were actually doing out the math, a really funny thing that we realized was Nate had brought roughly 5,000 calories more than I did to the challenge. Well, it was really weird. I'm so used to seeing the shopping cart so full that I felt with what I purchased, I still didn't have enough, but I guess these things are supposed to be really challenging and so it worked out that I overpurchased. That was a lot of cookies. We're not done yet. We're going to the clearance rack. Oh, I forgot. Uh, 
There you go. What are you looking at? Decadent pearl sugar cookies, baked with the perfect hint of vanilla. We got three of them. 51 cents. 51 cents for these three cookies. You can't beat it. <laughs> what a bargain. Let the record show. Nate's making me eat 51 cent cookies. <laughs> oh man. See how they are. Tastes like cookies to me. Kind of went off script with the whole clearance rack thing, but when I saw 51 cent pearl sugar cookies, I was like, I gotta get them. In your defense, those were one of our favorite flavors in our Christmas cookie challenge back in December, and these were fantastic. There we go. If I'm being honest, despite the fact that this is not fun anymore and nothing really tastes all that great, those are good cookies. Mm -hmm. Walmart's Pearl Sugar Decadent Cookies are worth getting, even if they are on clearance for being almost expired. Delicious. What do you got in store for us now? I'm not, I don't want to do anything else. I know. Well, we did only have those Pearl Decadent cookies one time before in our cookie video in December, mm -hmm. and we love those ones. I did not, I would have never known that those were discounted. They were great. Yep. But, like you said, I don't want to do anything that I have in this bag anymore. No. Oh my god. Wow. Um, Please, think. please just tell me you were more responsible with your choices than I was. I don't have an excessive amount of anything, but I will say that I'm not excited about them. Mm. But I do have one fruity thing. Ooh. And I think I could use that right now. So I had the breakfast bar cereal aisle. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. You're going to be happy. Yeah. You guys will probably be mad. Because so many people want to see us do cereal. I, mean, I didn't feel like dealing with bowls and milk and the whole shebang. So I decided to go with a different popular breakfast item. Okay. What are we looking at? Where are they? Tell me when to open my eyes. You can open. Pop-Tarts! Oh man, I haven't had a Pop-Tart since our Pop-Tart video in January. I didn't think I was going to be eating Pop-Tarts all of 2021, to be honest. I thought we were done with those. <laughs> I, I questioned them whether it was a good idea because of that Pop-Tart video, but the idea of blueberry sounded really nice, and I wasn't seeing a whole lot of blueberry when we were there. We actually didn't have the blueberry ones in, in our Pop-Tart video because they didn't have the value pack, and we only bought value packs for that video. So I get where you were going with things, but I don't want to do it. No. Let's do it. We have no choice. <laughs> if, if we're going to try to finish this challenge, oh. there is no choice. My head. My head's in another universe right now. Okay, this is only two packs. Only two packs. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Oh, hello darkness, my old friend. Oh. Where's the frosting? Pop Tart, can you frost these more? Let's do it. I really was so surprised to see those Pop-Tarts on the menu. I was not kidding when I said I thought we were completely done with those after that challenge. And we should have been. This was definitely my poor decision of the day. But blueberry sounded awesome, and at least we only had two packs each. Yeah, I would have definitely bought the value box and really shot us in the foot. Yeah. I was definitely second guessing my decision for not buying cereal, but we do have a big cereal challenge planned and we know that a lot of you guys out there really want to see that, but we are waiting on a certain item to hit the store shelves before we tackle that. How on earth did we eat 112 of those like two months ago? Mm. Those are so dry, but in my defense, the blueberry was nice. I can't argue with that. No, I can't. But I struggled through that one. They're so dry. I'm drinking a lot more water now. Oh yeah. Ooh, man. If I didn't just, if I didn't buy two cakes and two packs 
of the cookies, I think that there would be a higher chance of actually finishing this thing. We'd be done. Yeah. We've only got two items left. One from me and one from you. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm questioning my last decision too. Same. Especially after our Easter candy challenge. To be honest, we actually thought about not incorporating the candy aisle <clears throat> because of that challenge. But that would be taking the easy way out. And this is kind of supposed to suck, which it does. Oh, by the way, <sighs> if we haven't mentioned it already, two aisles that we skipped, the meat department, because we don't eat meat, and we did skip the produce department, only because that's pretty much the only department we shop in every other day of the week. So we just were like, that's boring. Yep. So we did skip that. So we have the candy aisle, um, my last aisle. Uh, you have snack cakes, right? <laughs> oh God, I. if you got hostess, <laughs> I did not buy any cupcakes. Oh, thank God. I promise you that. All right, so I think it's my turn. I don't even know, because I don't remember anything at this point, because my head is so far up, you know what. But here's what I chose, because we didn't have it. We haven't, I don't think we've had one of these in a very long time. But this was my favorite at Halloween, all growing up. I went nostalgic again. Hall Hall Halloween. There's only two things that we have never had on this channel that we've had, or at least I don't think we've ever had on this channel that we used to enjoy on Halloween. Butterfinger. Yeah. And it's a Hershey's bar. Uh, good bar. Hee <laughs> hee. Look at that. Whoa. Now, that's again, a big one too. Again, I, I kind of overshot and I got the giant size rather than the XL. Or just a regular freaking candy bar. Oh. I I have I am the reason why why we might fail today. Anyways, just to show you, that thing's empty. That oh god. Oh. Come on, Diane. Well, that's the end of one bag. No, oh, that's no. two. That's my second bag that I finished. Oh, oh god. Well, where am I? I guess let's. Let's take this down, I guess. Okay. This thing's so heavy. All right, here we go. Eight servings? Oh no. Oh, it's too big. That's a lot of peanuts. Yeah, wow. Okay, that's more than I remember. Okay, take a look at this. Okay. There we go. Oh. Ready? I did not remember there being that many peanuts in a Mr. Good bar. But then I was thinking about it, and when we were younger around the Halloween season or went out trick-or-treating, we would always get the miniature Mr. Good bars, and I definitely think they use smaller peanut pieces in those ones. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's like full-size peanuts in this thing. Made for great texture, though. Yeah, and also with the size of the peanuts, it kind of helped pull away from the sweetness of the actual chocolate bar, which was very nice at this point in the food challenge. Because obviously, we somehow ended up with way more sweets than we did savory, but I guess it makes sense because we are the Michelle Twins and we totally favor the sweets on our one day of indulgence. Finally done. Nate's over-purchased trip down memory lane. Oh man, oh, I'm hurting at this point. Oh. Oh. I can't believe we said yes to the candy aisle. Oh, oh. oh my God. How did we both accidentally go nostalgic? We did not discuss that one. Oh. Yeah. Only one more item. We can't fail on one more item again. Oh, uh, I guess that's, you think it's something we can eat? I guess that's, I had to ask you. Maybe I might need a minute. Oh, struggling again, man. Falling asleep, falling asleep. This is what happens when you crash from eating way too much sugar in one shot. Your brain 
leaves this planet and you start to fall asleep. That's where I'm at. Uh, all right, listen. This would have been awesome. And I know you would have been happy if there, this were like a half hour ago. But, uh, see what you got. My receipts. Oh, cream cheese coffee cakes. Uh, that's my bag done. Well, potentially done. If well, we finish that. Well, he's right. I would have been happy about that maybe a half hour ago, but nothing sounds like a good idea at this point. Honestly, I think it was that chocolate bar. That chocolate bar tapped me out. Uh, I mean, I think it was the cake that I that I overpurchased like five aisles ago, and then the cookies that I overpurchased a couple aisles yeah. ago. I but think I just shot us in the foot real early. I just mean as far as flavor goes, I get it. Uh, anyways, here we are. Let me open, the, you open these up and see. There's mm -hmm. eight. Okay, so four each. Four each. Might be something we can do. I wish I had any idea how many calories or how much weight we've eaten so far. I don't remember half of the stuff we've eaten. We've done a lot of talking in this video. Yeah. Gee. Okay. Two, four, six. Yeah. For a second, For a second <laughs> I thought there were none. It seemed, and I got kind of overwhelmed. <laughs> it seems like a lot. <laughs> I don't know. If they put an extra an extra one in that box, this would be like the first time we wouldn't be excited about that. For some reason, eight has never looked like so many. Let's, okay. Let's cut them open. Let's cut them open. Oh, God. I'm going to use the scissors again. Oh, they can be open pretty easily. Never mind. Oh. It's not a lot. It's not a oh, lot. Oh, but it feels like so much. Okay. Oh, finally done with the scissors. Okay. This can't be as many calories as last week's challenge. But I have a feeling this is pretty high up there. Uh, this has been a lot of food. Yeah. One thing I'm sure of is that it's well over 20,000 calories. I just have no idea how far over. I'm guessing 25. Guess at least. Okay. I guess we'll find out later. <laughs> All right. Okay. Sorry we're talking so much in this video. I think we're really trying to avoid finishing. I just don't know what, I don't want to know how this first, bite, first bite's gonna feel. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Uh -huh. That's gonna need the water. Man, as much as I was hurting, I was just so happy you didn't bring back the Hostess Cupcake the way you brought back the Pop-Tarts. No, I would not have done that to us. Hostess Cupcakes are blacklisted from my life. Until they bring back the Ice Pumpkin ones because I really do like those. Those are pretty good. But it's so weird at this point in the challenge having no idea where we were at for calories or stats. We were just happy that we made it to the final item. But with that being said, we think we are going to leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the video and we will catch you in the next one. Oh, man. That is the definition of challenge. Wow, that was so challenging. I can't believe we finished. I thought we were gonna be tapping out before that last item. That was intense. Oh. We're, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to keep this real short because we've been talking so much. And I'm just gonna say that if I can, if I can come up with what I enjoyed most today, it would probably be that chocolate chip cookie dough log that you made me eat. That was fun. Other than that, I'm done. My brain doesn't work, so I'm not gonna even try to dive into anything else. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Also, the cream cheese sweet Hawaiian rolls was a fantastic surprise. Yeah. I never would have imagined I would have enjoyed <clears throat> onion and chive cream cheese on a King's Hawaiian roll, <sighs> but it was great. But anyways, I thought halfway through that good bar that I was done. 
So I cannot believe that we found the strength to actually finish that. Wow. The hardest part is starting. Yeah. Getting yourself to start it. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Getting my computer. Anyways, this was a lot of fun. This idea was a lot of fun. Finding out half the items almost kind of took some of the stress off of, like, you know, sometimes in a food challenge you know everything you're gonna be eating. So it almost, there's a little bit of like, the joy of the surprise took away the anxiety or anticipation of knowing how much you have to eat. Yeah, it kind of worked for us and against us. Yeah, because for us in the sense that like, half of it was a surprise, so it was kind of fun, but then against us, I mean, and then yeah, against us in the fact that uh, I don't know what I'm saying. Against us when you took out two full cakes. Oh yeah, that. <laughs> but also the fact that like, you know, sometimes like you can anticipate how you want to approach everything knowing what it is. Mm -hmm. And you couldn't do that with this. Yeah. Uh, man, whatever. I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> so it was a really interesting and really fun challenge. Yeah. I had a good time until I wasn't having a good time. And even then, we had a good time. Uh -huh. uh, anyways. I got nothing else to say. We've said so much. Yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, as always, smash that like button. It means a lot to us when you do. Jump in the comment section, say something fun. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Hopefully we'll be coming up with some more creative fun ideas along the road. But anyways, as for now, fun stuff. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have fun finding out how many calories or what the stats were along with you guys. So anyways, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. We will see you again next Takedown Tuesday.